Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your October 1st through 15th, 2024 reading. Many blessings to you all as we move forward in this energy. This is a collective reading for all sun, moon, and rising signs. If you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to do a reading with you once you schedule your appointment. And with that, let's move right into the energy and see what's going on for Sagittarius. Now, here's the thing. When the Capricorn Major Arcana shows up in Sagittarius, that's not necessarily a bad thing because the next move in the Zodiac goes to Capricorn from Sagittarius. So there's a lot of you who are cusps of Capricorn. This energy can also mean a new uh, hot and steamy attraction to someone else, a new fiery relationship. It can also mean moving into the energy of that Capricorn. Now, in the, in the interim, we're looking at this as also, some people see this as the old self shedding of that that old self or even the old boss or some old co-worker because you've got a change of cycle coming in here, my Saggies. This is the fool. So the fool is going to close the door on anything negative and allow you to step right into the new adventure. So if this is the energy of a, of a new mixed steamy relationship, you also have the ability to step right into that while letting go of your fears and doubts and your own uh personal self-sabotage and maybe even past relationships so the fool is the brand new beginning feels like an adventure and it's a smooth transition into the new so you don't have to worry whether or not it's going to work out it's going to go very easily into the new energy and you'll be very excited about it so everybody wants the fool when we're having a change and we're definitely in that energy let's see what else we have Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light, divine spirit. Oh, very nice. Right into the energy of success. This is the chariot. The chariot is the cancer major arcana. This is the energy of coming through victorious, overcoming all challenges, battles, and obstacles, and being in a place of the limelight with notoriety. And it's also known as the Hollywood card because it's about success and being in a place of upgrade. Everything is bigger and better. Divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Sagittarius, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek. To assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages. And we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this Divine guidance as always. And we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. As we move, we have our first volunteer, which is the Hanged Man. This is reminding you to look at things from a larger perspective. Don't allow yourself to get pigeonholed into the, the, the tunnel vision or the myopic where you're just focused on one point. Let yourself see the whole thing. And that usually requires that you sit down and open your energy up so that you can see all the things coming in. They're going to help you to move into that new beginning. Oh, very nice. We have the Ten of Wands. This is a wonderful energy releasing you from the previous struggle, burden, heaviness, right? So all obstacles are removed and you can now walk upright. Now, the one thing about this is sometimes we've been in the burden so long, we forget what the upright looks like, right? And it feels weird or strange. And you've just got to give yourself time to acclimate. Don't make any uh, sudden moves to try to put more on your, on your plate just because you feel like, oh, oh I've, now I've got time to do something else. Well, you do. Give yourself a minute to breathe and decide what that is before you jump right into another big thing. Yes, it's telling you, take time, yet let yourself move into the energy of this beautiful Eight of Pentacles, which means mastering something new, whether it's on-the-job training, if you're changing cycles in a job, or you're learning something, you know, you can teach yourself. Self-taught things are real, and you can, you can be doing something for yourself, but whatever it is, your ability to master it is going to open up the energy of the flow of abundance that's waiting to come in. So we love that energy, Eight of Pentacles. 
and the two of cups. Look at that. So the two of cups is the energy of higher self and ego. It can mean that your higher self is now ascending past the, the ego mind, which means you're thinking on a different level or a different plane. It's also the energy of divine partnerships. So either business partnerships or relationships. This is the energy of having that Vulcan mind meld kind of energy where everybody's on the same page and you can almost know each other without even uh, asking. It's just like you already know the other person so well that it's like you, you have become that one in force of the energy. So the force is with you. And we have, hey, nobody's going to turn away the Knight of Pentacles. And this is in your relationships, love life, and even household energy. A lot of times money shows up in the household because that's where it goes first. We earn it at the job, but we spend it in the household. Yes, we do. So the Knight of Pentacles is that very fast moving energy of the Knight of Pentacles on its way directly to you. The universe has allotted this and has now dispatched it directly to you. <clears throat> now we have the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is information coming in. This is the informer and he's here to give you what you need to know and things that you may not even know that you know, right? Things that come in that, that help you to make decisions or give you the information that's not readily available. And this is the two of swords reminding you that not everything's going to be logical. Just because you think you know the way something's going to come in doesn't mean that that's necessarily true, especially if you're asking for something that hasn't existed yet or doesn't exist yet. It means you've got to stay in your miraculous mindset of manifestation and not force logic because just because it doesn't make sense doesn't mean it's not possible. And in the career and finance, we have the nine of pentacles, beautiful energy of the Garden of Eden. And you know, I have to say the affirmation because this is my deal. Um, I've used this affirmation before, so uh, I kind of have a, a a penchant for it because it has helped me out of several last minute emergency money situations. So here we go. Thank you, universe. I know that you are continuously conspiring in my favor. I receive exactly what I need, exactly when I need it, every single time. I receive abundance from sources known and unknown. Let me remind you, my darlings, this card is reminding you that abundance isn't attached to your paycheck. It can come in from anywhere as long as you can open up and not limit yourself to your paycheck. And there's an offer coming in, the Knight of Cups. Anytime you see them on horseback, they are moving very fast. And this is a fast offer. It's also a genuine offer. And the Queen of Cups so it looks like we're going to accept that offer and move bravely into the future. Even though we may have a little bit of cautious optimism, we have optimism nonetheless because there's the clouds breaking and the light coming through and we're ready for something new. So that's a beautiful energy. And there's the instructions. Remember, this one's giving you information you need to know just as a, a general informing. And this is the energy of what actions to take as you move forward. So this is spectacular as this page connects with you. It can be about a job. It can be about next moves. Whatever it is that you need to take action on, now you're getting the yes, and then here's what you need to do to do that. Oh, hello, Archangel Michael and King of Swords. This is a beautiful energy of being grounded and protected. Also, it can mean someone who's advising you. It is a very beautiful energy coming in here. And as it is the masculine, it means... You're being held in a place of stability with this. So the information you're getting is what's going to help you to be in that beautiful energy. And the star card. Everybody loves the star card. This is the energy of being very much in a place where the universe is working in your favor. The star card is the yes from the universe for your wish, your soul's wish to be granted. Very nice. And our underlier is, <laughs> of course, when we're about to make a change, we have the nine of swords, which is where we start to pick apart all of our truths and start to worry, right? So 
stop yourself when you feel this and know that you are, you know, anytime we're making a big change, it's going to be scary. This is normal. However, we don't want to focus so much on the fear that we manifest it because what you're manifesting is what you're paying attention to. So just know the fear always comes before the big, the big breakthrough and you know, the breakthrough is happening. So let yourself just feel the fear and do it anyway. Don't let yourself cause any more issue just because you're worried that you might make a mistake. Let's see what the cards have for our beautiful confirmation. Oh, hello. We love the Six of Pentacles. This is the energy of abundance coming in. It may be unexpected or more than you expected. It's also the energy of not having to owe it back. It is money that's being given freely that you don't have to worry about paying back. We love free money. Yes, we do. Thank you, universe. Let's see what else we have. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light. Well, that wanted to come out. <laughs> divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Sagittarius, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You're always welcome and very appreciated. So this three of rods, I'm going to put it here because I know that it, it came out after these flipped. So here we go. Libra Major Arcana, being in a place of focusing on your goals and knowing that right decisions are being made by you and for you. And that's part of that seeing the bigger picture with the hanged man. And the Emperor, this is the Aries Major Arcana. This is the energy of the universe itself in the masculine, fully formed. If it's talking about a business, it's something international. If it's talking about a person, it's someone mature. They don't have to be old. They just have a mature uh, mindset. So they've got their ducks in a row. We love it. All the way around. Very secure, very stable. And so sometimes we worry about things from the past and we get ourselves caught up. If we're going to go forward, it's best to go forward with that energy of mastering things. So make sure that you're not paying attention to what you feel um, has either wronged you or someone was, you know, um, in a place of, of grief, right? So let go of that as soon as possible. I know grief is not something you can time, but allowing yourself to stay in the energy of looking forward to the future and not and try not to give any attention to the past. You can't undo what's been spilled. You can't pull it out of the ground and put it back in the cup. It's not going to work. So allow yourself to say, well, if I want to change anything, I've got to face forward to do it. And then you'll see the way forward has already got its own benefits and waiting for you to choose. Now, it's funny that the future says two of cups and there's the two of cups. So hello. That's a beautiful alignment. And now we've got the four of cups, which is a, a blessing in disguise. Now you notice he's not looking up at that cup and that means he doesn't recognize its value. So what I will encourage you to do is whatever offers are coming in, make sure that you vet them before you say no. We have moving forward again. This is, seems to be a little theme here. And you've got the energy of all your past experience being able to ground you. And you don't have to babysit it anymore. You're, you're free to move forward. The energy of that third rod is moving forward, taking those that knowledge and moving into something new. And the universe is saying the abundance is already on its way to help you with that. Hello, Aquarius star card, a second time. Beautiful confirmation. This is the soul's desire being granted, and it is the air sign Aquarius. Now, this little page is the air sign as well. But when we're talking about air signs, we're talking about information flowing. So very beautiful, whether it's download from the universe or someone else who's giving you the piece to the puzzle that you need. And telling you to let yourself get out of the logic and stay in the higher mind, the visualization of what you want. And this will bring in the release of the old way. The Ten of Swords is death to the old way, allowing yourself to step out of the new. Now, I've got a, a kind of new concept on that. 
based on some things I'm doing for myself and some things I'm learning. So this death to the old way is if we want to do something different. So say this, if so, I'm going to just be extravagant and speak it this way. If I'm a normal person who goes to work 40 hours a week and gets a paycheck and, you know, that's it. It's a routine. It's kind of on autopilot. But I say I want to be a millionaire. Do you think I'm going to be able to take that routine mindset and actually be able to accept the abundance of the universe? Or do you think I'm limiting my abundance by what I previously have been living? Because all I've been living is the life of someone who lives paycheck to paycheck. So you have to literally kind of release that old mindset and that old, all of the frequency you're carrying and start changing. So it does have to be sort of a, a, a little ego death, right? Or a little, little internal uh, frequency death. And to change channels, you have to step out as a new person. So I have been telling myself before I allow myself to get out of bed in the morning that I'm going to breathe in all the abundance that's available to me and exhale all of my past so that I'm not taking it with me as I step out of the bed, I step out into it as a new person. So that is a new concept I would like to offer you. Oh, look at, look at, we have a double nine of pentacles. And I'm sorry to tell you, I've got to say the affirmation again, because here it is. So thank you, universe. I know that you are continuously conspiring in my favor and you believe you bring me exactly what I need exactly when I need it every single time I believe I receive abundance from sources known and unknown. Thank you universe. So this is the kind of mindset you have to step into in order to leave the lack mindset behind. <laughs> there you go. That's awesome. But that rarely happens, by the way. I know the people who watch the readings know that. And if you're a newbie, um, that's something I want to tell you is very special. <laughs> so, Saggies, that's awesome. Okay, I'm not going to fart with that anymore. Here we go. <laughs> All right, somebody's getting a job offer. This is a beautiful, and that's the offer. That's the Knight of Cups. You see how these line up? It's a beautiful energy of the Hierophant, Taurus, Major Arcana. And that offer is, this is the Welcome Wagon. So that Knight of Cups is bringing the offer saying, we would love to have you. It could be something you've applied for. So it doesn't have to be a job. It could be an organization or some kind of university or something, you know, a program you've applied for. But yes, there it is. Yay, team, the keys to the kingdom. Now, for some people, it's a government agency or entity. Some people, it's a um, something to do with a legal matter, right? And saying as you proceed make sure that you pay attention to the details because what you put into this is what you get back in return so 100 percent in brings you 200 percent back as long as you don't cut any corners or take any shortcuts that's very nice the three of pentacles is the expansion of abundance and we have the nine of cups the Nine of Cups is the energy of abundance, happiness, joy, being in a place of satisfaction and safety, security, and celebration. That is the innkeeper. And he's having no shortage of joy. As you see, he's smiling, very happy. Hello, King of Rods. So there's your Sagittarius King standing right in the energy with Archangel Michael. So this is near future across the bottom, and that's very beautiful. That's the that's the take charge king, the action king, and that is your king because you're fire sign. Woo, looky there. So we have the big star card with the wheel of fortune. What a wonderful energy. This is the breakthrough blockbuster energy of all karmic debts and karmic holds being released, all doors opening, even doors you don't know exist. And allowing yourself to move in the energy of abundance as it literally catapults you forward to even further destination than you would have gone had you not been held back in the first place. And it's right on top of your soul's wish being granted. So that's pretty special. Sagis, y'all are getting an amazing reading. And last but not least, <laughs> last but not least, fear not, fair maiden. For the Ten of Rods is here. 
that is a different kind of energy with this 10 of rods than you had with the original one where it, it looks like he's just beat down right i was talking about walking upright you finally feel like the load's off your back well this is now fertile new energy blooming blossoming so i want to show you this in the comparison of the energy of the two 10 of rods that came out this is the sun of uh, the the moon and that means that's nighttime and that's the ending of the drudgery schlepping all of that around and there's the new prosperity moving into a whole new location here. So that new castle or kingdom, whether you're working from home or a new location, this is the bee's knees, especially since you had the worry and fear here that you may or may not be doing the right thing. You're absolutely doing the right thing. So what a beautiful reading for all my Saggies. I am so happy to give you this because it is spectacular. So I send you lots of love and light, peace, happiness, joy, abundance, and divine prosperity to you all. And I will see you again uh, on the dailies. Watch the mystic affirmations. And I also have the weeklies. And twice a month, you'll see these horoscopes coming out. I love you guys. Namaste, my friends.